we've got Colette Cooper ahead of her performance at Rye Jazz and Blues Festival, which is happening next weekend. Are you going, perchance? Let me know. Let me know who you uh, got, got tickets to see. Um, Colette Cooper will be chatting with me and we'll find out what she's been up to as well. She's got a lot on the go. Seriously, massive applause to Colette. If you want to get in touch, 81333 08000321333. Start your message with the word radio. Don't forget to do that part because otherwise I can't read it out. So, uh, But yes, yeah, so I, I've left Forrest this morning. Forrest is my friend's rescue, uh, just before we get to Colette. Uh, Forrest is my friend's rescue dog, um, and he is so cute. And the reason why he's called Forrest is because he was found in a forest at, I think, just a couple of months old. He was abandoned there. And my goodness, he's such a sweetheart. This morning, obviously, I was getting ready, and he thought I was taking him out. <laughs> And by the way, this is after I've just taken him out. This dog seriously loves the walking, just doesn't get enough of it. Um, I'm sort of limping a little bit because I've been doing three walks every single day. <laughs> I know, a bit excessive, but he's like a border collie. He likes to just run, 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 run. There you go. Uh, but that's just a little update from me on the furry animal sitch. Uh, but we've got, as I mentioned, a wonderful guest on now. We keep them coming. And next week sees the annual Rye International Jazz and Blues Festival, of course, with some great performers descending right here on the East Sussex town to entertain the music-hungry crowds. It's a great place as well for food and drink, isn't it? Including uh, some of the artists, Laura and Vula, the brand new heavies, Ruby Turner, oh, my mate Ruby Turner, and, you know, Colette Cooper, who's got one hell of a voice, let me tell you, an absolutely stunning voice. Have a little listen to this. <laughs> So I ain't got nothing but my last soul. Oh, Jesus, help me find some kind of peace of mind. What a voice. That song is called Lost Soul. And I'm absolutely thrilled to say the woman that has this gorgeous voice, Colette Cooper, joins me now. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon, I should say. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving all about your dog walk. <laughs> I, I'm, I... Oh, gosh. Colette, honestly, oh. I am. I'm not even joking. I have got a bit of a left foot issue, but seriously, <laughs> I am limping and Forrest is loving it because he just, you know, oh, living his best he, life. He sounds lovely. How could they dump him in a forest? Oh, my, literally my heart breaks. My heart breaks yeah. when I look at him because oh. when they first, when my friends first got him, um, he was, let's just say, a little bit aggressive. But, you know, yeah, he was cool. left to fend for himself. So it's totally yeah. understandable and a little bit unpredictable. Aww. So you, you'd be stroking him and he's fine. But the minute you moved in a certain way or did something, he would start growling and then he'd just lunge Aww. at you. So, yeah. you know, Aww. but that was when he was really young. He's much more chilled out now, but he's just, oh, my goodness. And he looks I like... I love that breed as well. Oh, he looks like a cross between, because I know you like your dogs. You you work oh, for I a dog, dogs. You, you represent a dog's charity or something. We'll get onto this in yeah. a minute. Um, yeah. But we but he's basically, from the back, he looks like a mini goat sort of thing. He's got he's got the <gasps> thickest oh. coat I've he ever seen. gorgeous. Yeah, he, like it's a goat. Me and my partner can't figure it out. It's like goat slash reindeer slash little pot belly pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little forest. I know, he's so cute. I will send you a picture of him. Yeah, send me a photo, I will, send me I will. A it will make you goo goo eyed, <laughs> I'm telling you now. Um, but listen, I know you've got, lady, you've just got way too much going on. I'm like, what, what doesn't this woman do? You're just like, you know, low ambassador oh. for like animal charities and yeah, in the animals. environment and Vivian Westwood's Cool Earth charity and Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy charity. I mean, you are a, a beautiful yeah. human being. That's oh, what I want to say. You. Oh, thank you. I try. I try. <laughs> well, we can but try. 
We can oh, watch Oh, bless one. you. Thank you, Mummy. That's lovely. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're welcome. But it's true. You seem to do quite a lot of things. And I, I know yeah. that, I mean, you know, that voice I love voice animals. Of, I mean, oh. I love animals. Animals are the best. That, I mean, I have to best. say, walking three times a day is a bit much. But anyway, I'm just doing it <laughs> because. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's great like... at the end of the week. You'll feel <laughs> I will. Fabulous. I I am st- I am actually feeling fabulous. Good for the mental health as well. I reckon. Yeah, it is so much. Very um, much. but you you're just like your voice is quite incredible. Tell me, who are your oh. inspirations? Like, where when did mm. you learn that you had this incredible gift? I want to call it. Oh, that's really sweet. Well, I mean. I all I grew up on really good music. My dad introduced me to some great music growing up, and uh, Bessie Smith he introduced me to Bessie Smith as a little girl who was, you know, a, a way back in the day as an artist, a blues artist back in the, you know, the twenties, thirties, and um, never heard anything like her before. You know, we were growing up with you know Madonna and people like that. So my dad introduced me to some great artists like Nina Simone, Billie Holiday, but Bessie Smith was the one for me. She was just so raw and powerful. So she was definitely an inspiration. And uh, I don't I don't know really because I I always like wanted to do more acting than anything growing up. And then um, my brother's a great musician actually. And then and my mum and dad loved to sing. It was kind of in the family, you know. We we we'd entertain each other around Christmas. And um, and then I used to do a bit of busking with my friend Melissa at college, and people used to ask me, "Oh, go on, will you sing?" And I didn't really think that much about it, to be honest. And then I just started to sing in between acting jobs, and then I got a real kind of thought, "Okay, I'm, I'm not too bad at this. I think I might just give it a little bit more of a go." And so that's what, yeah, I guess that that was it, really. <laughs> yeah. The beginning of <laughs> the, the beginning. Best. <laughs> compliment the best compliment I ever had about about my voice was a friend of ours Murray he's hilarious he said you know what Claire you sound like between a chainsaw Harley (laughs) Davidson and a little bird I had to digest that I was like a little bird a chainsaw and uh, Harley Davidson I was like okay that's, that's really good, Maury. Thank you. <laughs> Wowzers. That is quite, I, I guess, it's not so much a backhanded compliment. I'm sure it came from a very nice place. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it did. did. I, had to, I was like, okay, you... I'll find that compliment. <laughs> like, hang on, are you still friends with this person? <laughs> yeah, no, he's amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Now, look, you're, you're going to Roy Jazz Festival next week. Yeah. It's Jazz and Blues Festival. Have you done this festival before? Do you know what? I haven't, no, and I'm very, very excited. The guy who runs it, Ian Bowden, what an amazing, beautiful man he is. You know, he's working his socks off, you know. I'm glad you said socks. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Something else nearly came out there. I know, I know. You hesitated way too long. (laughs) Daytime radio, (laughs) Colette. That's because you make me feel so comfortable. I'm only that boy. Thank you. And then, um, so he's worked really, really hard on this festival, and uh, as you know, there's a possible train strike scheduled on the twenty oh, sixth. I know. Yeah. What so is I with that? Pulling his hair out. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's nothing we can do. If it goes ahead, it goes ahead. But I think, and we're we're practically sold out now. We 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 have um, released a couple of more tickets um, to squeeze people in, but um, we we are pretty much sold out. So I'm hoping that people are there for the weekend, as opposed to getting the train down. Yeah, or at least I'm... if they can drive, you know, that would yeah. be that'd be great. But we're very excited about it. It's in the um they put us in the the church community hall, which is great. And they've turned it into a beautiful kind of smoky jazz bar with a oh. with a great bar in there. So it's it's really lovely inside. They've got all beautiful lighting and, and I think it's we're gonna have a really great time. And of course I've got a great band behind me. I've got a very special guest actually on piano, uh Clifford Slapper incredible pianist he's um he he worked with david bowie a lot he was david bowie's pianist actually for many years and we've got um the wonderful callum smith on drums and stuart barker on electric bass we've got magnus um erickson on electric on guitar and kevin davy another special guest on trumpet and then you've got me on vocals and harmonica so you know we'll, we'll do our best to give everyone a great time 
I'm sure you will do more than your best yeah. because actually yeah. the thing is, I'm going to tell mm. you this now, Colette, don't be deterred oh, go on, go on. by the whole kind of train thing because yeah. uh, on the, on the 5th of August, we had Brighton pride. And of course there was a massive yeah. train strike, but you know, people still came Oh, Actually we had gale force winds. Well, I say gale force, yeah. but there were very strong winds, lots of rain, but you know what? Everybody came out and enjoyed themselves. Oh, and great. that's the oh, thing. Good. If you're going to come anyway, you're going to come. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're right. You're you just have to, right. Right, plow ahead don't you and yep. you know and congratulations because i believe you're you were so popular they had to move you to a bigger venue <laughs> yeah that was really nice actually yeah they did they said listen we will we, we people want you know they want these tickets and we don't have enough room so we're going to move you so i thought like, oh that's great great yeah more the merrier you know <laughs> brilliant so I'm good, really for looking forward to it. good for you good for you now I'll get i my believe Harley Davidson out. <laughs> Your Harley Davidson chainsaw, whatever else. Is. But throw in a bit of sawdust as well. And I think we, we've got you nailed, yeah. Colette. <laughs> oh, that's oh I love gosh. It. I love it. Now, look, you are, as I mentioned, you are a woman of mm. many talents. And you did a one woman play. Because you mentioned acting there. You did a one woman play, which yeah. you've written, you've written, directed, and starred in as well, called Tomorrow May Be My Last, the Janice yeah. Joplin story. And this yeah. was just done at the old Red Lion Theatre so it's some, somewhere quite small and intimate and have was, you, I believe yeah. you've got some really rave reviews off that are you coming to the West End next year? We are indeed well we're going to the Riverside Studios from the 27th of March for eight weeks um, which is a West End family theatre it's part of Salt um, and yeah we are we were taking it there we're very excited because we worked you know, it, yeah, it's a one-woman show, but there's a great team behind it as well, you know. And um, we work, we all work super hard. The band, because it's set in a, a Woodstock Five festival and backstage in her dressing room. So it is a, sort of her life story. But so the, the, the band members there, the musicians are incredible, um, incredible, incredible band. And the theatre's only 60-seater, and we were there for three months. But it was amazing. It was sold out, and, you know, we had people fighting for tickets in the end which is great that's what you want to you know you want to hear and then so we, we were able to yeah we were able to move it to um a bigger a bigger theater next year you've got it i'll get you a ticket i'll oh, get you a ticket that's amazing i'm definitely yeah. there you know i'll try not to uh I, honestly i'll love that and um i will try not to distract you it's are you going to be performing in this then as well yeah 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 so Fantastic. i play Jan, i play janice joplin and um like i say with a great great band and um it's kind of it's it's, it's, an, it's an intimate play in a sense it is a one woman play but it's because it's she's alone in a you know dressing room there's no other actors and she's talking through her life and there's the ups and downs it's, it's an emotional roller coaster but it's also a very very uplifting play there's a lot Sounds of hope fantastic. in it lot Sounds of hope good in. that's what we need thank you yes, we need thank that you. Thank well you, listen thank you. you are such You're a joy thank oh you. thank you you're a joy oh, great talking to you. you you i feel like i'm i feel like i'm in the living room talking to you <laughs> i love that Thank you so much. Well, we try and keep things chilled here on the Saturday yeah. show because, you know, it's like I, I describe this show as having like grab a coffee, maybe a biscuit or a croissant or something and sit and have a, a <laughs> listen into the conversations because that's yeah. how we like to do things here. We don't like the rush, rush, rush. Everyone no. does that during no. the week, don't they? Yeah, that's very true. And it feels very it's just relaxed and conversational and it's, it's just chilled. And that's what people like. People like to tune into that, I think. Oh, thank you. you know, well, I'm no, hoping that. Oh, bless you. You're a star. Thank, thank you so you. much. And <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that you enjoy. I know what you will enjoy about Rye. Seriously, get some. Go around and try and get some food in all yes. the incredible eateries. But one word Great of advice: place. try and book, because it is a nightmare. Otherwise, you just can't get in anywhere. But what I will no. say is, everywhere is amazing. Yeah, pretty I much everywhere Rye. I've been to is just gorgeous. Such so great, it's such a great, oh, great little town, isn't it? It really beautiful. is. Beautiful. Great vibe to it. I do love it. I'm very excited. I can't wait, actually. Yeah, excellent. Well, I'm very Thank happy you. and chuffed for you. And uh, again, once again, congratulations oh, on getting it into a your, your beautiful self into a bigger venue. That's what we like. Um, yeah, thank you. I thank don't you. want to wrap this up, but I've got to do it. I so know. Oh. we've got to come over for tea. We'll, we'll take the dogs for a walk. <laughs> come on, let's come do on, it. We'll take, we'll, take, we'll take the dogs for a walk. Let's do that. Let's do it, Colette. Yeah. Me, you and the dogs <laughs> and a conversation. Maybe a, I, I might 
throw in the coffees and the croissants as well. Oh, yeah, go if on, you're go lucky. On. <laughs> and I'd love it if you could come next week. We can squeeze you in. If you can, if you're around and about, we'd love oh, that. Maybe, maybe. If I do, I yeah. might surprise you. you. Feel. See how I feel. But, like, yeah. I definitely, I mean, obviously, I'm here doing the show, so you never know. Yeah, All I'm exactly. saying, I might pop up. You never know. Uh, Colette. Okay, well, we'll reserve your seat. Thanks for oh, having me. Oh, thank you. Have thank a good you one. For me. I Have a lovely it. weekend. You too, lovely. Thanks, Cheers. Amani. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, the gorgeous Colette Cooper is her name. Do you love her voice? Hasn't she got a gorgeous voice? I hope you heard that. If you missed anything, go back and listen to it on BBC Sounds. But uh, she'll be at the Rye Community Centre. Now they've turned it into a nice, smoky, jazzy kind of uh, place as well. So it's not just going to be a community centre, <laughs> just everything. FYI. If you want to find out more about the uh, Rye Jazz and Blues Festival, go to ryejazz.com. You can find the full programme there. It's happening all next weekend. And if you want to find out more about the lovely Colette Cooper, it's just colettecooper.com. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Amani Mo. 